All right, guys, let's head on over to cxbxreloaded.com. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you're here, go ahead and click on download now. And you want to download whatever build is closest to the top. That will be the newest version. Go ahead and click on download. And your download should start. The file is downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to extract this file. To extract my files, I use 7-Zip. If you guys need to download 7-Zip, there will be a link in the description below. Once you have 7-Zip installed on your computer, come back to this file, go ahead and right click on it, go to 7-Zip and extract here. Now once the file is extracted, it will create quite a few files. If you guys would like to create a new folder to put these extracted files in so it's not cluttering your desktop, you can do so. But I'm doing it here for recording purposes only. Now let's go ahead and open the CXBX Reloaded Emulator. Okay, now let's go up to our settings, config video. We're gonna go to display resolution and we're gonna change this to whatever our monitor's resolution is. In my case, mine is 1920 by 1080, 144 hertz. For our render resolution, this is gonna make our games look better. You can go as high as you want. I'm just gonna go five times. And I'm also gonna check, use exclusive full screen mode. If you would like to play your Xbox games in a four by three aspect ratio, which will give you the black bars on the side, then leave maintain aspect ratio checked. Now, if you would like to play in full screen, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, then you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Go ahead and hit accept. Now we're going to set up our controller. Let's go back up to settings, config input. You can use up to four controllers with this emulator. Player one will be port one. Go ahead and hit the drop down arrow and we're going to select MS Gamepad S. Configure. Now I'm gonna be using an Xbox One controller with this emulator. Any wire controller will work as well. Just make sure you have a Bluetooth connection with your PC with that Xbox controller before you launch the emulator and it will actually detect that controller without you doing anything. In my case, my Xbox One controller is XI input slash zero slash gamepad. Now to map out your controls, we can start with buttons. Go ahead and click in this box and go ahead and hit whatever button on your controller you want to be A. For B, go ahead and click in the box, hit whatever button you want to be B. Do the same thing for the rest of these. Do your L stick, your right stick, your D-pad, and your triggers. And once you're done mapping your controller out, if you wanna save this layout, come up here to profile and go ahead and give it a name. I'm gonna call my controller mapping P1 and then hit save. And then go ahead and exit out. And just like that, we are ready to launch a game. Let's go up to file, open XBE. Go ahead and locate on your PC, wherever your Xbox games are. In my case, I keep mine on an external hard drive. I have one in here, Jet Set Radio Future. And just to let you guys know, the file type that this emulator runs is XBE files. You're gonna get a message saying that XBE signature check failed and that this file is dangerous. You have nothing to worry about. Go ahead and click yes. And then you're gonna see that game's logo in the bottom right of your screen, letting you know that that game is ready to load up and play. Now let's go up to emulation and start. And the game will load up in full screen. If you guys are looking for original Xbox ROMs that can be extracted into XBE files, then check this site out here, romspeer.cc. I can't leave this in the description, so you will have to type this into your browser. Once you're here, at the top of the page, go ahead and click on ROMs. Scroll down and you'll see Xbox. And here, you will find your original Xbox games. Browse, 
and find the games you want to download. Thank you guys for watching.